Today I'm going to demonstrate how to remove files older than a certain date or time. First I'm going to run a setup script which is simply going to place some files in a directory called files on my C drive. Next I'm going to select the properties of one of those files. As you can see we have a few date time fields that we can use. Creation time, last access time, and last write time. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to use the last write time property. Now I'm going to get the current date and use the add days method to get a, another date which is 10 days in the past. Now I'm going to list the contents of the files directory again. Next I'm going to pipe that to the where object commandlet and we're going to filter where the last write time is less than the cutoff date. As you can see, there are a handful of files that are older than the cutoff date. Finally, I'm going to run those commands and pipe them to remove item. And now you can see only the most recent files are available in the files directory. Next, I'm going to remove files that are older than a certain number of minutes. I have my files in my files directory again. I'm going to get the current date again, but this time I'm going to use the add minutes method to get a date that is five minutes in the past. Once we have that, I'm going to pipe that to where object and we're going to filter on files that are less than the cutoff date. Now we'll run remove item on those files again and as you can see all that are left are the most recent files in that directory. Now sometimes you might not want to run your entire pipeline in one line. Sometimes I like to break up my scripts into smaller pieces so it's easier to work with and it's easier to identify if I'm reviewing that script again in the future. So I'm going to show you another way we can remove those files. First, I'm going to use getChildItem to store those files in a variable. Then I'm going to get the current date as well as a date that is 10 days in the past just like we did before. But this time I'm going to use for each to iterate through those files examine each one and their last write time and if it meets a certain criteria remove that file. And that is how you remove files that are older than a certain date or time.